All right, so we're going live to talk about our trainings for this week, and uh, beautifully, uh, the Facebook Live plugin was fighting me uh, and couldn't see a preview of the video, so I turned on, <laughs> hoping for the best after about 15 minutes of rebooting computers and, and all of that stuff, but which is a great reminder uh, that so much of this digital stuff is never that easy, which is why we're building a community at the digital plan uh, around training and, and supporting each other. So quick reminder on that, there is the Slack. Uh, you can always go straight to the digitalplan.com uh, in the training community there and check out the Slack. And there's also a link um, from the main homepage. So we really want to make sure that, that you can connect to other folks. And so we're just building it out. It's a little bit of a, a ghost town, right? Like that is part of how building online community and infrastructure often works at first, right? There is a period where you're getting infrastructure together and you're inviting folks in. So reminder, come hang out on Slack. Uh, we're building a community there so we can uh, commiserate around things like that. But this week, we had a great week ahead with some uh, really great webinars. Tomorrow, Tuesday, um, we're doing at 2 Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, the digital plan blueprint. Um, and this is basically the digital plan. This this is a blueprint to develop your own digital plan. Uh, helps you work through um, the different core elements and things you may want to think about in your plan. We talk about some strategy, and then we always leave it open for Q and A at the end. Part of the reason why we do this training every month is that it's the the foundational sort of thing. If if you've seen it. Uh, and you're using the template and you're launching a new project, this is a good chance though to come back and ask specific questions, right? Of like, hey, I'm doing this thing and, and how can I change it? How, how can I better integrate my social media? How can I think about SMS a little differently? I, you know, I've got it there, but like, what does that mean on the timeline? This is a chance for you to ask those questions. That's, that's the whole idea behind building the, the member community, right? So you can ask some questions out there broadly on Slack, um, but in the webinars themselves, and why we do this one every month is because I wanna make sure you've got a space to come uh, and chat with someone like myself. I've helped organizations um, literally do probably at this point now thousands of digital plans for short projects and, and long-term things, um, right? When you think about uh, helping and coaching folks, um, you know, through sometimes 30 and 40 a month, uh, those, those numbers start to, to add up and uh, helping folks work through at times a couple of hundred different project plans uh, a year you know, put that over close to a decade and, and you get a lot, you get some, you get that thousand. So uh, social for EDs, super pumped about this. Good friend of the digital plan, Beth Becker, uh, is doing num another one of her great um, trainings with us. And this is social for EDs. So if you're working in this space and you are a manager, a campaign manager, an executive director, you should be checking this out. And if you work in digital, work in social media, and you've had a hard time getting uh, leadership to connect with social media and really understand what are the fundamentals of social, this is for them. So, you know, th this is a great training that you're going to want to get in front of them. If they are SVP and can't make it, um, they'll get the recording back from it. So they'll have the recording on hand. We'll have the recording for you. So you can also sign up, get the recording and share it to your person. Uh, this one is free. So they will just put a big highlight next to this one. This one is free and open for everyone, right? So you don't have to be a member. There's triple lines on that free. That's how free it is. Uh, triple line free. Uh, and then uh, on the resources line, so last week we did a new training called Social Media TikTok. If you're running a political campaign this cycle, you should have this template in your arsenal. So uh, you can become a member, get the training, figure out how it works, and then implement this resource. So if, you know, if you're doing any live event, you should have a social media TikTok. If you're doing live political campaign events, this is uh, invaluable to making sure you're doing that well. Uh, you know, goes hand in hand with the content calendar we've put, uh, nest really well into the digital project planning blueprint. And when you look at something like the free ebook we put out, Social Media for Campaigns 2018, you, you can think about, you know, you've got that broad lens in the book, then you can take something like this and really integrate it in and, 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 and really have these specific templates that help move you towards your goals, your campaign and organizational goals. That's what something like this is designed for. And so really excited about what we've got coming up for you this week. Uh, also, we're sharing a link here to uh, Beth Becker's weekly political social or monthly political social grab bag. We're not going to put the pressure on her to do weekly. So she does an awesome email uh, at the first of every month and you can get it in your inbox. And then we also, uh, a couple days later, we republish it onto our website with a link for you to sign up down below. So uh, you can sign up down below to make sure you get it in your inbox. So you click the link, check out the great content, and then you can sign up for her newsletter, uh, which we're a big fan of. Uh, we love what you've got in there. Some interesting stuff going on in there also is there's some platform updates as always. I think one of the big ones that I'm really looking at here myself new group functionalities. So you can pin comments and post uh, pixels in groups, which is really big. So thinking about actual tracking stuff inside of groups, uh, the group platform has really been evolving a lot over the years in Facebook. And I think 
you know, if, if, if you've checked out our Facebook for uh, organizing, um, we talk a lot about the difference between pages and groups and how you maximize both. And for organizing, I'm always thinking about groups. So some really exciting stuff there. Really I encourage you to check out that link. That's the third link down uh, in the side of this video here. And if you're you know, watching this online, it should be on the page you're on. So thanks so much. Looking forward to seeing you um, online in trainings uh, coming up this week and in weeks coming up in the future.